Hello, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about a Newton mail application, why I enjoy using it and why I'm back to using it again. I will also talk about the new things that happen since they basically reintroduced or reopened or um, restarted Newton Mail in around May last year. So let's dive in. When the new owners kind of bought the company and restarted in May of last year, I was a bit slow to go back to it. And my biggest issue is this is the email that I really like using the email client that I really like using but it's been now kind of stopped and started twice and I really didn't want to kind of change it or go back into it so it took me a bit longer and uh, during this time my mind has always gone back to it because I always struggle a little bit with my email clients I use spark mail and on top of it at the moment I pay for the same box uh, to get some of the stuff that I used to miss from using Newton. And um, so I've come back to using it. So if you go to newtonhq.com, which is the old website for Newton mail client, you get to basically the same website. And this is where you can start it for free. You get two weeks of free account. Um, and they have done it for everything. So if I click here, you will see that they have iPhone, iPad, and Android mobile apps, but they also have macOS with M1, Intel, Windows, and Linux. And, um, I will log into my email account here from Newton, and this is what it looks like. It's very clean interface. It always has been. If uh, I open our email uh, here, you can see it still looks very clean. Uh, you can see all the information or all emails in the thread. Here you can very quickly deal with email. If I've opened it, I can put it in a trash, uh, spam, um, uh, basically uh, archive it, move it to a different folder, uh, snooze it, and uh, I'll go back into all the inboxes. But I can deal with it as well straight away here. So these are the same buttons. I can just deal with it here. And it's not a not an issue. If I want to deal with all of the emails or I've left certain emails that I just want to, let's say, snooze for tomorrow, which sometimes I do, I can go and click and do this select all. And that way I can really quickly deal with it. If you want to just deal with a new email, so see your new emails, you click this kind of mail button here and you will just see um, uh, the newest email or the ones that you haven't looked at. So during the day, I'm often in this window here. In the Newton, you can log in all of your basically accounts. I haven't found yet an account that I can couldn't log in. I haven't yet logged in my university one, but this is my Gmail account, my business account, my, my, my other Medora business account. All of them are here. And if I go, want to go into certain outbox, they're not clutter, cluttering the view down at the side of it here. You just click on this and now you will get what are the different folders within the same kind of uh, email that you want to use. But you don't see that here. The reason I like Newton Mail is, as I see it, it is a, such a clean look to it. It's even almost cleaner using it on your iOS and iPad devices. It's very simple. There is not a lot of clutter um, or too much clutter here. And they have improved the search, which has become much quicker lately. It has this tidy inbox. And we'll talk about it as a supercharges, uh, what you don't want to possibly see in your email. Uh, what I also like about um, emails is that if I reply to something and I write, when I do stuff, I can insert attachment here. I can basically follow it up or I can send it later here. So I can choose if I click here, 
when I want to send it. And I like sometimes sending emails later. If you watch through my different um, videos about email providers, I do like that because um, if it's a really important email and I'm sending it to someone who I know is not going to look at it over the weekend, I tend to send it around 8 o'clock in the morning or 8.30 on Monday morning. So my email is at the top of their email inbox so they will answer this email very quickly and here I can insert different templates that I can also um, uh, save uh, different um, templates that I want to use. If you want to get into your settings or preferences you can do it through the button here or you can do it through the settings here. I tend to use it through button here. You can access your Newton account and change your username here. Uh, you can use the two-step verification and then this is your settings. So here you can change the settings uh, or names or colors. In general, this is what the free account um, enables you in Newton. So you can use Newton as an email for free, you just don't get the supercharging uh, or supercharges we'll talk about. So um, you can um, send the default, you can uh, customize the inbox. So when um, uh, you see these things here, you can customize the way they look like as well as on a to um, toolbar. Um, sometimes I like reply and archive. Um, Sometimes I don't um, if I snooze the email or if I want to do something with that. So sometimes I don't use that. One of the things here is the theme. So since the Newton restarted in May or June last year, they have introduced the dark mode. So you can choose it from here. I tend to use it uh, a lot while working, but sometimes when I'm doing videos, it's... Um, a bit harder to see um, stuff on the dark uh, background so I don't tend to use it in that but on average I tend to use the dark mode. So this is the super charges or things that are new. The read receipts have been there for a long time. What is new about them is that now because of the EU rules you are supposed to let people know that you can do this to them. For the rest of the world whether I want to use it or not, it's up to you. Link receipts um, are probably used a lot by people who send newsletters and clickable links. I don't tend to do that, um, but uh, it doesn't really matter from my point of view. And that's one of the new things that is being started. The scheduler is basically you have to uh, set up a scheduling with AI account. I have a little bit played with it, but I don't use it a lot. So I tend to do these things through Fantastical. Um, it is expensive service. It's around $8 a month US per person if you want to connect all of your calendars. Otherwise, it's only just one calendar. If you're using just one calendar, that's fine. But I tend to use a lot of different calendars. Um, that different people who work with me have an access to. So um, I, I cannot basically do this for free. Um, the other thing is I don't have that many meetings. So there is in some ways no point of me using it or paying for that service. So Tidy Inbox has been in some uh, way there previously. And this is where you basically can get newsletters um, to somewhere else and you can choose which accounts uh, that you don't want the emails uh, in your inbox and you can choose by different accounts so you can choose that one and that one and then you can for that one you can choose whatever anyway snooze I use a lot and you can choose how you deal with snooze here this is your connected applications, so I tend to connect the Todoist pocket. Uh, schedule later, reminder, undo send. Occasionally I undo send. I like that service if I've made a mistake or I haven't finished something. Templates where you can just manage a different templates and a public link um, sharing. 
So this is the new stuff or slightly changed old stuff, but the schedule is definitely new. The dark mode is new. Um, the read receipts, they have changed according to the EU rules scheduler. So what do I think of Newton now that I've started using it back again? One, I like it. I really enjoy it. I always have enjoyed using it. And to me, it's worth the $49.99 uh, payment for it because it, it will actually save me money because I'll stop using the same box when my license expires in November. Do I have worries about it? I still kind of do. It's the worry that they will stop the service again because it has been stopped twice. Um, but to be honest, it feels like they won't. It feels like these guys have been actually tinkering and playing with it and improving the Newton client. So I get the feel that they will be around for longer. And these two guys have always used Newton and always loved Newton. So my gut feeling is now that a year has passed um, that they will continue providing the service. We're also seeing more and more of these paid email clients um, that are coming on a market. So people are getting used to paying for a service that is good. I'm glad that I'm back at using Newton. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any comments, please put them in the link uh, or in the comments below. Um, any suggestions for any applications that you would like me to do, also please put in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.